So something he hasn't been used to for a very long time. And also disappointment at the 2017 Worlds. He had won back-to-back -back Worlds 2015 and 16, but 2017 off the podium in fourth. And he is a skater who definitely wants to make his mark at the 2018 Olympics after once again finishing fourth at the 2014 Games. Painfully true that he only finished fourth and not third because he didn't count his jumps properly in his long program and was deducted because of it. Not a skating mistake, a mental skating mistake. Nice quad toe to start. A tiny bit of chatter as the left leg, his free leg, hit the ice. Small deduction only. Great to get his feet wet. Because he's got another quad, a different version. This one's the sow cow. I think much harder. He disagrees with me. <laughs> well, the sow cow being an edge jump, you don't get to use your toe to help you take off like you do in the quad. So, as you say, Kurt, a lot of skaters do find that harder. That core going it just wasn't quite over top of the free leg. I mean, on the free, on the landing leg. Apologize. We talked about music choices earlier in the show. This one's perfect. Nationalistic pride gets the crowd clapping. Man of La Mancha. face as he goes through this program, staying within the story that's playing in his mind. Leaning outside of the circle. problems in his jumps today doesn't look quite as on top of his skate as we are used to seeing him got really loose in the air when you just don't quite feel the ending of that jump in your sight start to slowly open up and don't finish the rotation a good fight today he's really trying not to let anything go if he can save it he will
Javier Fernandez of Spain, seven time and reigning national champion, five time and reigning European champion. That fine tuned machine that is instinct. And when you don't quite have it, those jumps, as big as they are, they're only 0.6 to 0.7275 seconds long. It's not a lot of time to recover when you don't have the instincts firing. You go searching for it. The harder you search for it, often you just push that feeling away farther. And that's a little bit what happened today. A lot of fans in the stands for Fernandez, a two-time world champion. What did you make of this skate overall? What a difference a day makes. I mean, he was virtually unbeatable in the short program yesterday. So what happens overnight between the short and the long? That is the unanswerable question in skating, right, Kurt? No, it's it's not something we can really answer without training with him, without knowing his mindset going in. Exactly. Was it, you know, was it a feeling where you just don't quite trust your own skating that day? It could be the week of, or it could be the five-minute warm-up we talked about earlier, too. But what he needs from now on is to really kind of remind the judges that are out there that I am a, a guy you need to consider that's going to be in the final flight at the Olympics, and I'm going to be somebody that deserves to be on the podium. He's only got three only, I can't believe I'm saying that, he's only got three planned quads in his long where others have five. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he is a little bit behind, but he's got the right guy at the right music at the right time in his career. And I really think that he has the potential to hit that podium. He deserves it. His body of work is awesome. Well, he did create quite a lead for himself after that short program. And by the way, I'm sure um, he's happy to have his coach, Brian Orser, by his side, who's missed the last few Grand Prix events because he had emergency surgery, gallbladder surgery, but everything's all good with Brian Orser. Fernandez you, Brian. needs yeah, 150.49, and he gets 175.85. So remember, so, it was as sloppy as it was. When you rotate jumps, you, you get credit. You get it. credit, and you get yeah. a lot of points. So much better than landing a great double. Yeah, or to, popping. Uh, or popping open to a single, for sure. So so. 283.71, Fernandez right now holding on to his lead.